Hi guys, welcome to part one of this three part tutorial. What we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be creating a ring and we're going to be applying a really nice gold material to it. We're going to animate it in part three of this of this series of videos and it's going to be spinning around on the table. It's going to look really nice. Stay tuned. Here we go. So first of all, we're going to create our ring. So we're going to use a tube to do so. And we're going to use this little circle to drag our inner radius to about there. And we are going to decrease the overall scale just a little bit. And we want to go to our front view so that we can bring this up so it's sitting right here on the floor that we have yet to create. Okay, cool. So click on your tube object and turn that into a fillet. It's NB to show our lines and we want to increase our rotation segments to about 100. Let's make our ring a little bit smaller and a little a little bit thicker let's increase our radius and increase our segments to 14 okay cool so are we happy with this we are we can move on okay so next we want to create a floor so first of all i'm just going to call this ring and i'm going to create a plane for our floor Let's scale that right up we just need Actually, let's keep it at 20 just for now. Um, I'll explain why later. Let's scale this right up. And the camera is going to be looking down on our ring, so that's far enough. And we want to... I want to increase the height here of our ring to about there. And let's go back into our front view. And we want to put that down our ring onto our floor okay so that's looking much better so next we're going to create a material we'll create one for our floor and we'll create one for our ring so let's add this to our ring and we'll add this to our floor which we will call floor so our floor for now is going to be just darker and now we are going to we're going to turn on our interactive render region and let's turn up the render quality there and as you can see it's looking very bland it's looking pretty dull boring not cool because we don't have any lights so let's add some create a light let's drag that up there let's go into our top view and let's drag this light over to about here hold control on your keyboard and drag copy that a new light over there using this green icon you can drag any object um, along any axis except the green axis which is the y-axis so to do that basically we're going to hold down control and drag that back there sorry there my phone was beeping sorry for the pause let's rename this phone to key this is going to be fill and this is going to be rim 
our key light is going to have a shadow of it's going to have an area shadow it's going to cast an area shadow density 80 percent our fill light is going to have an intensity of around 60 percent and our rim light is going to have an intensity of 40 percent so now you can see that that's made a huge difference okay so i just want to bring back the rim light here so let's go into our front view and instead of bringing it back we can just drag it up to increase the broadness there of our specular highlight it was very concentrated um, so just bring it up along the y-axis now we can focus on our ring material so open that up let's go into color the color channel and get this as close to gold as you can it's not going to look gold no matter how much you mess around with this uh, with these color values what's going to make it look gold is our reflectance channel so open that up and we are going to increase the specular strength to about 70 percent and we're going to add a beckman layer and what we're going to do is create a metal surface shader so go into surfaces there and click on metal okay so we want to open this up and we're going to change the color of the first knot to i'm going to say yellow there's no real exact color you can look at the values there if you want but i'm just eyeballing this you can do the same something that's yellow and for the second knot we're going to go again something that's yellow but maybe a little bit darker than our first knot just a little bit back into our reflectance channel and we want to increase the roughness here to 20 percent now let's create another beckman and this is going to make a huge difference. First, we need to change the blending modes to add on both of them so that all of they're all being blended. Uh, we're going to do the same as we did here with our first Beckman. We're going to do the same with our second Beckman. We're going to add a surface shader, a metal surface shader. So once you've added that, open it up change the first knot again to an, a yellowish color and the second knot to a yellowish color again but make it a little bit lighter or a little bit darker let's add something in the middle here as well this can be a very light yellow click ok and let's see what that okay so get rid of that because it's not making any difference at all i thought that might have done something different it didn't do what i intended it to do let's go back into our reflectance channel and we are we're going to increase the roughness here to 20 percent go into our default specular layer and we're going to reduce the width down to 20 percent and increase the specular strength up to 100%. Next, we're going to go into our first Beckman layer and we're going to increase the specular strength to about 50% on that and increase the roughness to 30%. Okay, let's Control Z on your keyboard there to undo that. That doesn't look good at all. So, where are we going? We want to add some bump. Because, or let me just duplicate this floor first. Because we are not getting any reflections 
on the top part of our ring. So I'm going to drag this floor up up to about 405 centimeters. You can see it there. Let go, and now you can see we got some reflection. So our floor, our upper floor, our roof will say is being reflected. Let me turn that off here and show you the difference that that's making. So there you can see that it's making a big difference to our overall look at this ring. Okay, cool. Now I want to add an area light because I want to brighten up the scene. Our three point lighting isn't as bright as I'd like it to be. So add a target tag onto our light and drag the ring object into the target object. And that way our area light is going to be looking at our ring no matter where we drag it. So let's drag it up and we can use our blue icon here which will move our object on every axis except for the blue one which is Z. So as you can see I'm dragging this around and no matter where I drag it it keeps looking at the ring which is very handy. You can set that up with a target tag. So if we look at our four-way view here you can see the difference that our light is making um, which isn't that much to be fair so let's increase the intensity on that to about 150 percent okay so i like that it's looking good it's looking very nice now it's looking very gold and uh but uh yeah so i want to add the bump that i was talking about earlier this is going to make our ring look a bit weathered because it's looking too new, it's looking a bit too shiny right now. So this bump is going to add a bit of, it's going to be, it's going to add a bit of character to our ring basically. So go into your bump channel, tick that on, and let's add a noise shader. So this is looking really, really, it's looking pretty melted now. So we want to change the noise there to Booyah. Ooh, yeah. and we're going to we want our noise to wrap around the ring in long streaks around the x-axis so in relative scale on the x-axis increase that to 900 percent so that's gonna take effect there and we want to increase the octaves to 15 which is going to make our noise more detailed basically let's reduce the contrast so there's less difference between the black and the white areas and we are going to this right now our bump is jumping out from our geometry we want it to be indented into our geometry so let's change this to minus 20 percent So let's go, so now you can see it's indented inside our geometry, but let's bring it to about minus seven. So that's a little more subtle, but a bit too subtle. I'm gonna go minus 10 on that. Okay, cool. Now, this is looking pretty good. It's looking pretty nice, but it isn't quite there yet. We need to go into our render settings and we're gonna do something very cool right now and that's add an ambient occlusion effect. And you're gonna see the difference this is gonna make. It's gonna make a huge difference to our overall render. It's basically adding contact shadows, which I'm sure most of you already know about. But if you don't, you're going to be really happy about this because look at the difference that's making right now. Another thing is our reflection is very jagged. So go into anti-aliasing to fix that. Change this to best. And we're going to keep it at that. One by one and four by four. Let's do a... Let's do a render here, Let's see what this looks like. So this is looking pretty good.
good to be honest i'm happy i'm happy with that so uh that concludes part one of this video in part two we're going to be texturing up our floor and in part three we're going to be animating our ring so thanks for watching guys see you in the next video